All right, so now the Roman interpretation here. Now remember, um, Caesar, uh, Augustus was named Caesar in 2 BC. Um, and then, um, I'm sorry, in 27 BC, and then 25 years later in 2 BC, we have the 25th year anniversary there. We also are celebrating 750 years since the founding of Rome as well. And we have named Caesar Pater Patriae, father of the country there. So this is a huge time of celebration in Rome. To the secular world, devoid of spiritual conscience, particularly to those in Rome, it seemed like heaven itself was giving approval for the emperorship of Augustus and that Roman government had the divine right to world sovereignty. This was in spite of the fact that they were aware of the prophecies made by Daniel. Suctonius and Tacitus confirmed that Rome knew of the belief that the empire of the world would be given to someone from Judea. <clears throat> Let's stop there for a moment and talk about Daniel again. Um, Daniel, of course, rose to fame after he properly interpreted the dream of Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 2. Nebuchadnezzar had this, uh, this dream of a statue image of different metals, which represented um, Gentile uh, empires, world empires. Of course, um, um, Nebuchadnezzar needed that interpreted to him. All he saw was a head of gold, you know, upper chest of silver, uh, the Medo-Persian uh, Medo Empire there, the Grecian Empire of bronze, and then the two legs of iron, okay, which represents the Roman Empire. So he's looking at, he's looking at Gentile uh, dominion uh, in terms of metals, glory and power, okay, glory and strength. Uh, the same chronology, same world history is given in Daniel chapter 7, this time from, the, from Daniel's point of view or the heavenly point of view, um, not glory and power and strength, okay, um, Gentile images, but uh, ravenous beasts there. Um, we see... Uh, the bear, you know, and the, and the leopard, and this multi-headed creature, and all of this. And it's a very disturbing dream that he has there. But the end of Daniel chapter 2, he gives Nebuchadnezzar the interpretation. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar exalts Daniel uh, to the position of chief governor of the Magi, okay, which is a high position there. Chief governor of the Magi, because none of his, none of his uh, astrologers, astronomers, Magi, um, uh, sect could interpret the dream, but yet Daniel could, because Daniel was given the proper interpretation uh, from the king of kings, okay, from God himself. Uh, he's made head of the Magi. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 39, verse 13, calls this the Rab Mag, R-A-B-M-A-G, which means head Magi, and that's why Daniel was. And so Daniel had tremendous influence and was allowed to introduce the Jewish scriptures to these uh, to these pagans, basically. And they were to know, based on the Daniel 9 prophecy, when the Messiah would come, when the Jewish Messiah would come. Okay. <clears throat> and interesting that the Gentiles knew when Christ would come, but the, but the nation of Israel, according to Jesus, were not aware of the time of their visitation uh, by, but by Christ. <clears throat> Hopefully we won't caught, be caught aware when, when Christ comes the second time. 